Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is a funny video about Bulgarians. Don't go! As in every country, uh, people do some unusual things uh, comparing to other countries. Here are some of the Bulgarian ones. Stay tuned! Number one, we say yes like this and no like that. So when I go to Bulgaria after a long time, in the beginning I'm really like what's happening. And after a while uh, I start doing the same. In the end I get so confused that I don't know what I'm doing anymore. It's like this. Uh, yes, uh, no. Uh... Number two. Eating sunflower seeds. I'm not kidding. I don't know how it's now actually, but when I lived in Bulgaria uh, and I was a teenager, uh, we would eat that on a daily basis. We're not squirrels, hamsters or birds or any kind of animals, but we just like that. Of course they are roasted and salted, but yes, it looks like that. This kind of packet we can eat in one day. So let's open it. If I'm in the house and watching a movie, it would look like... Five minutes later... This movie is so interesting! <laughs> if I was driving the car, uh, it would look like this. I was outside, it would look like that. Mm, I'm such a lady. Number three, being very close to our neighbors. I don't know how it's now, of course, because I lived in Bulgaria 18 years ago, but um, I remember we lived in an apartment. If we miss something from the fridge, don't worry, you don't have to go to the store. Just knock on the door of your uh, neighbors or call them through the fence if you live in a house. And very often when you go to get something from them, you usually find yourself talking with them for one hour, like about everything. We Bulgarians are very friendly. If you live in a house, it would look like this. Penke! Can I borrow two eggs? Ah, oh, thank you, thank you. Did you see the match yesterday? Oh, it was so good. Oh my gosh, I was so happy. Like, oh my gosh, it was so funny. Like, ah, yeah, you were screaming. Then we were celebrating, drinking, and everything. Like, so good. If you live in an apartment, it would look like that. Do you have some sugar? I'm doing banitsa and I forgot sugar. Oh my gosh, again. Oh, no problem, of course. Of course, I'll give you sugar. So tell me, how was the wedding? Ah, it was very funny. Oh my goodness, it was fun. Oh, you know what? Like, we went to uh, outside. And then we went to the whole night. And then we got drunk. Oh my gosh, like, everybody loved it. We had such a great time. And then we had the food. The food was so fantastic. Like, amazing. Comment below if you still do like that. Number four. Our language is very easy to uh, rhyme. Very often, somebody would accidentally make a rhyme. Uh, my mother was expert in that. So many. So many. I remember when we were kids. She comes into the room. We are playing. And one of us farted. And she's like, that means open the door for the smell to go out. So funny. Another story, we were playing and we did a big mess in the room and she comes from work and she's like, <laughs> that means when is this mess going to be cleaned again? And when she said that we all three of us started like laughing. And nobody is upset anymore, of course. Another story, we had friends in our house and when they were leaving, we continued talking uh, at the door like for half an hour. And when they left, uh, my mother, she found something they forgot. And she was like, My tati is busy na vratata i pak se zabravih aneštata. That means uh, jokes and funny stories at the door and they forgot their stuff again. Number five. Dancing uh, Horo. That's a traditional uh, dance which includes loads of people. Uh, we dance that on our proms, we dance that on weddings, we dance that on every uh, kind of big occasions. It's really funny. It looks like this. <laughs>
Thank you so much for watching this video guys. Uh, I hope you liked it and uh, if you want to see more videos, subscribe, like it and see you soon. Mm.